We do begin with breaking news tonight. Just within the last hour, a jury has found Nathan Beal guilty of first degree murder. Beal is a Spokane man charged with killing Andrew Bull in April of 2020, and prosecutors believe Beal did this for practice four months before killing his ex-wife. Want to get straight to our Amanda Rowley this evening with more on the verdict and reaction to it. Amanda? Well, Mark and Whitney, this jury spent nearly five hours in deliberations today. They had to determine if prosecutors presented enough evidence that proves Nathan Bull is responsible for Andrew Bull's death. And tonight, that jury unanimously decided Bull is guilty of first degree murder. But before reaching that verdict, the attorneys had one last shot at convincing the jury of Bill's involvement in Andrew Bull's death. So Closing arguments this morning, Spokane County Prosecutor Dale Nagy discussed all the evidence presented in the case. He reminded the jury that the shell casing found at the crime scene was fired from the same gun found in Beale's apartment. The string of more than a dozen surveillance video clips compiled by detectives is another major element in this case. The videos helped investigators identify the time of the gunshot and track the suspect's walking route to and from the crime scene in that downtown Spokane alley. And they were able to establish a single suspect that was in that alley at the same time with Mr. Bull when Mr. Bull was shot. There's only one other person in that alley besides Mr. Bull when Mr. Bull was shot. And you saw pictures of the alley. It's a very small, narrow alley. Now, defense attorney Stephanie Cady later told the jury that she believes prosecutors did prove that Andrew Bull was shot and killed, but she says they did not prove it was Beal who committed the crime. She argues that's because they provided no evidence tying Beal to the crime scene or to the victim. In everything that the state offered, they found no DNA at the scene belonging to Mr. Beal, nothing tying him to that alley, nothing. No blood on the firearm, no witness that identified Mr. Beale at the scene or even downtown ever. For the jury to convict Beale of first degree murder, they must unanimously agree his intent was premeditated. That intention was to kill Andrew and the victim died because of the defendant's act. Now, the jury also had the option to convict Beale of the lesser charge of second degree murder. But ultimately today, they decided he is guilty of first degree murder. Now, Andrew family has been in the courtroom for every day of this trial. It started last week on Tuesday. They were in the courtroom today when the jury reached that verdict. Although they were emotional hearing that verdict, they told me before leaving the courthouse today, they are very happy that the jury found Beal guilty of murder. Reporting from the Spokane County Courthouse, Amanda Rowley, Crime 2 News.